Hi Rosie. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. It's the Sketch Monkey here, and in today's video, we're gonna have a look at a uh, tablet, a pen display, and that's the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro pen display. And I'm excited about this because it's not one of these expensive brands that has a ton of marketing behind it. And I want to emphasize that point that if you're looking to get a tablet like this, but you don't really have a really big budget, then you might want to have a look at other brands than the most established ones because the most established brands always have a massive marketing budget behind them. And it doesn't mean that a higher price point or a, a more known brand is is a better tablet necessarily. And that's why I'm so excited about this review because the more companies that come out with tablets like this in this price point and that does this, these kind of similar things, the more competition, the more innovation and the less the, the, the prices go down because, because of the competition. So the more brands that are out there creating these kind of products, the better it is for you and me as a consumer. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at this. If this XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro tablet can't actually get the work done. I'm gonna talk about the specifications and the facts and figures, but that's not what this video is really about. It's about can it get the job done of what I do on my channel? Can it get a redesign done without any hiccups or problems? And that's what we're gonna figure out right now. Let's start by opening up the box and see what's inside. The first impression when I took the tablet out was how thin it is. It might be mistaken for a tablet with a battery inside, but this isn't a tablet. It's simply a thin monitor that you can sketch on and it needs an external power source. Worth mentioning is that this specific model is a limited holiday model that comes with some additional gifts and graphics inside the box, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. The tablet itself feels pretty solid and well put together with a matte surface all around. It has a glossy screen protection film that we're going to remove before we start sketching. Underneath the tablet we have the stand for the display. It's a simpler stand, but same thing here. It doesn't feel like it's going to break and it's well put together with rubberized surfaces on all areas that is in contact with the desk and the tablet for better traction and less slide. The stand can only be set to one angle, which may be an issue for some, but the good news for me is that this is the same angle I prefer to sketch with anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. On the side of the tablet, you have eight configurable buttons that you program in the XP Pen dashboard. You also have a scroll wheel for zooming in or out, pan the canvas, change brush size, or do whatever you program it to do. Unique for this holiday version is this little character inside the scroll wheel, which I kind of like because it makes me feel like XP Pen know their target audience. It's something I haven't seen any other brand do and it's just a fun little detail. Next we have the case in which we'll find the pen. The pen itself is a little bit shorter than the Huion one I've been using for a while now, but the thickness is pretty much the same. The case itself, it's cylindrical, which means it will probably roll away from you and not towards you if you lay it down instead of having it standing up. The cap for the case functions as a stand for the pen, while the opposite side holds the eight additional pen nibs. Two customizable buttons on the pen here as well, just like we're used to, and personally, I only use the front button, and I use that as a right mouse click to bring up my brushes in Photoshop. You also get a sketching glove and a cool calendar with this version of the Artist 15.6 Pro. The cables are pretty much straightforward. You'll, you'll need to connect the tablet to your computer via USB. And if the USB port is powerful enough, that's all you're going to need to run the display. If you need more power, there's a wall power plug included with adapters to suit any region of the world. I'm using an iMac and I don't need the wall plug to run the tablet. However, Apple is a little bit special as we know, so you'll need an HDMI to mini display port adapter to connect it to the iMac. Not exactly sure what these things are, but I assume they are part of the holiday edition. It's pretty interesting.
Now it's time to get into the sketching part and have some fun with this tablet. But before we do that, we have to remove the plastic cover, of course. And I don't want you to miss out on that because it's so satisfying to see. So here you go. Enjoy. Now, since this is a review, I feel like I have to give you the facts and figures of the tablet before we go into the fun stuff. So I'm just going to read it off here and see what we have. We have an active area of 344 by 193 millimeters. The pressure sensitivity is 8192 levels. The tilt for the pen is 60 degrees. The pen is battery free in the shortcut keys. We have eight of them, of course, with the roller wheel. The display color gamut is 88% NTSC, 120% sRGB. Resolution is 5080 LPI. Not sure what that means, but now you know. And the display resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixel. Standard stuff. And the input device is USB. Now with that out of the way, let's have some fun and let's turn this Ferrari 458 mid engine into a Ferrari 458 front engine. Now let's get sketching and see what this XP Pen or this 15.6 Pro can do. I'm starting out in Photoshop as usual here. I just want to put down some lines to check the pressure sensitivity and accuracy. The surface feels a little softer than what I'm used to as if the pen has more bounce in it, if that makes sense. Not a bad thing, it's just a little bit different. The install of the tablet took about five minutes in total. Just connect the power cable from the display into a USB slot in the back of the iMac and connect the HDMI to the mini display port adapter and you're good to go. Then download the drivers and do some calibration if you want to. I didn't really have to do any calibration or adjust the contrast. The standard settings works well. You do have two buttons on the side of the tablet next to the power cord and those are to adjust the brightness of the screen. Starting out it feels pretty good and smooth. No lag or delay and the pressure works well. It's pretty much the same as what I'm used to. If you've seen my previous reviews, you know that I don't use any of the hotkeys or scroll wheel on the side here. Instead, I have the keyboard next to the tablet and that's what I use to control everything in Photoshop such as zoom, pan, rotate and more. However, I can see this setup being useful if you get used to it. You have the scroll wheel in the middle which I would use to zoom in and out with my index finger and then you have my thumb on the button right below the wheel as undo. This could create a nice workflow for some, but since I'm stuck in my old ways, I'm going to stick with the keyboard. First impressions are good. I didn't really expect less since most of the tablets I've tested so far are so similar to each other that the only difference is the layout of the customizable buttons. As long as the pressure sensitivity is on point, the pen feels good in my hand, the contrast is, has good blacks and whites, and the responsiveness is sharp, I'm happy. The rest is just stuff I never use or care about. I wanted to show you the distance from the actual tip of the pen and the stroke on the canvas. This can take a little while to get used to since the thickness of the screen creates this gap between the two points. It only really affects you if you're sketching from a tilted viewpoint. Now let's talk about what the heck we're doing to this beautiful 458 here. It's one of the most beautiful Ferraris in recent time, in my opinion. And I thought it would be fun to see what it will look like in a front engine layout. It will also give me the chance to see how the Artist 15.6 Pro performs in a real life working situation. It took about five seconds in before I forgot that I was actually switching tablets. This is a good thing because it means the XP Pen didn't interfere with my workflow and is just the tool I need to get the job done. A good tool shouldn't bring too much attention to itself, instead it should allow me to focus on the design work and help me get the result I want without making a lot of noise about it 
if that makes sense. So that's the review of the uh, XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro. What can I say? It did everything that I was expecting it to do. The bottom line here is if you're looking for a tablet, a display tablet or a regular tablet, you might want to explore uh, other companies than what we always hear about. So not the name brand companies, but some smaller companies because my experience with testing all of these tablets is that the benchmark is so high that you barely notice any difference, but the price the, the price difference can be such a big difference between a well-known brand and a lesser known brand. So do your research and check reviews like this to make your decision before you buy something. I've had nothing but a great experience with XP Pen and I encourage you to check them out if you're looking for a tablet like this one. I think at $399 this tablet is a really good value and if you want to learn more about it, all the specs and details and facts and order yours, you can click the link down in my description. I hope this video was useful to you and I hope you enjoyed this short redesign as well. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Thanks again for checking out this video. It really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click on that little notification bell as well so you get notified when I upload stuff like this. I hope to see you in the next one. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Take care.